Hey Aries, welcome to the first half of November love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I hope you guys are doing really well. So those who are new to my channel, I always go to my meditative session, session first, excuse me, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing or someone within your environment could be experiencing or someone you're energetically attached to. And it is energy. It's fluid. It's not linear. So messages can't be reversed or vice versa. So Aries, I feel like you're feeling yourself right now. <laughs> I think you're really feeling yourself right now. Um... It just feels like a very confident, very strong kind of energy. I feel like you're just doing you. You're really proud right now. I don't know what you're proud of, but you're proud of something. Okay, you could just be proud of yourself. And if you are, kudos to you. Some of you have just accomplished something. Some of you definitely have just accomplished something. You're getting rewarded for it. Um, others, you've come into understanding about something and it's like you no longer have to think about it. You no longer have to wonder about it. It's done. It's dealt with, it's done, and you feel very good about it, okay? Whatever whatever it is, however that pertains to you, okay? Um, Aries, because you're feeling so good and you're feeling yourself, I don't think you're giving a whole lot of energy to other people right now, um, even possibly romantic interests. You're just, you're in that happy single mode. <laughs> you know what I mean? When, like, you're single and, like, you're really enjoying it, and you don't have to answer to anybody. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. You just can do whatever the hell you want to do and not have to think twice about it. You're so enjoying that, that it's like you really don't want to give much of your energy to other people, especially any kind of uh, new energies that come into your life. You just don't want to. You just you just simply don't want to, okay? I did get some interesting channelings that I know are only going to pertain, pertain to like one or two people, but here we go. First of all, a lot of you guys are doing like dealing with Capricorns or something could be happening in Capricorn season. I did see a goat. I felt like that was more about the sign as opposed to any spiritual meaning behind that. Um, but keep that in mind as we head towards Capricorn season. It's not that far away, just a couple months, really. Okay, like I said, you could be doing the cap. You could have that in your chart. Um, I heard black licorice. I don't know what that's about. I think you might be getting some black licorice and you don't like it. <laughs> Not too many people like black licorice, but black licorice came through. That was really weird. I don't know who that was for, but that's, I just given you what I got. Okay. Now this has to be for one person. There's going to be an argument over a dress. I know such a weird thing. It's like purple and pink, which I thought was such an interesting combination. I think it's for an event of some kind, or you could be a fashion designer and it's like, it's one of your designs and it's just you're having an argument with someone about it and it gets pretty heated. OK, so just be prepared for that when that happens. But it's an argument over a dress. I don't know. I don't like I personally am not a big fashion person. <laughs> I've never gotten an argument over a garment before, but someone's going to get in a fight over a dress. OK, over something for whatever reason or another. But Aries, like I said, you're feeling yourself. You don't want to explain yourself to anybody. And because of that, you really don't want to put any effort into any relationships or connections right now of any kind. You're really doing battle by yourself and you're feeling pretty damn good about it. And like I said, for some of you, you've just completed something and you're getting recognition for that or you're getting awarded for that. Others, you've come into understanding about something that allows you to lay down a situation to rest. OK, all right. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle. Please look forward to new messages of truth, healing and love for those who need it. For Aries, summarizing Venus and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Someone likes to look at the stars. Someone's really into astronomy. Um, I'm actually seeing a telescope. Someone might get a telescope. Oh. I don't want to say that. I don't want to ruin the surprise. I probably already ruined it. I probably already ruined it. Someone's going to get a telescope for the holidays. <laughs> and I feel like it's a gift. I don't think you're buying it for yourself. I think it's a gift. That's interesting. Um, but someone's really into astronomy. If you're con Okay, some of you are buying this for your child or considering buying it for your child and you're wondering if it's worth the money, worth the investment. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that's just adding to someone's knowledge base and education. If it's for your child, you should definitely do it. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is this about grandkids? What is this? Um, some of you who have grandchildren might be really concerned that the parents might not be picking up on something with the grandkids. Something that's like disconcerting. Something that's just like like if you don't if you if they don't bite it in the butt now it's just gonna get worse later i don't think it's with their health 
I think it's just behavioral. It's for someone out there. Feels like feels like it's about multiple grandkids, not just like one, not just one. So I mean, it just okay. So that's just second guessing the parents' parenting skills. Um, interesting. If you're that worried about it, have a conversation with them. All right, have a conversation with them. Looking forward to new messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the first half of November, someone's got a big ass black truck. I'm seeing desert. Someone might be going ATV. I think that's what it's called right i think that's what it's called like the things with the i think that's what it's called anyway there's important messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for aries summon rising venus and jupiter first half of november regarding love please wear a helmet please if you go atv please wear a helmet pretty please let's see Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. First half of November. Regarding love, please. Closing for any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the first half of November. Oh, see what we got here. Oh, we got a page of cups here. Oh, please focus. Page of cups. Someone's doing a lot of writing. Someone's doing a lot of writing. Oh, professing. <laughs> professing. Someone might get a love letter or a love email here. I just feel like someone's at, like, it also it also feels a little sing-songy. Someone might also get serenaded here or like a poem. Oh, thank you. That's what it is. A poem. Like, what's writing and say sing-songy? Oh, a poem. That's what that is. That's what that is. Someone might get a love poem here. You might be writing a love poem for someone, Aries. It does feel like a, it feels like a love offer. It does feel like a love offer. It doesn't feel like an apology. It just feels like, Someone extending out like an olive branch, but like in a very loving, dovey sort of a way. I can't speak today. Sorry, guys. Mercury retrograde. My Mercury's in Scorpio. Anyway. Oh, strength, Leo energy. Are they resisting this? Are they holding this back? Oh, you know what? I'm not liking this combo. I'm not liking this combo. Why do I feel like this is to control something? Oh, damage control. Thank you. It's damage control. Whoever is extending this olive branch, whoever is like extending this emotion, and like I said, it feels very lovey dovey. It's to do damage control on a situation. And it's not an apology. They're making it very clear. It is not an apology. It's to do damage control on a situation. It's coming from a need to control something, to control something or someone. Interesting. Please look any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Oh, lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. Damage control over a connection that's experienced a lot of damage, okay? But it's weird. It's almost like I need to do this now before it gets worse. I need to say something now before there's more damage. Yeah, it's like it's out of the need to do damage control. I definitely don't feel like it's you, Aries. I feel like it's someone else, but like I said, it can be vice versa. Closing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For the first half of November regarding love. Ooh. King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. An emotional manipulator. Okay. Yeah. Aries, someone's trying to manipulate the situation here, and they're trying to use emotions to do that. Wow, they're trying to do, use emotions to do that. They're trying to gain control of a situation. They're trying to gain the upper hand of a situation. And like I said, like I was speaking about like grandkids and something with kids, like, and well, the kids was just like the gift of telescope. Um, but I was speaking of something about grandkids. That could definitely be a play here for some, trying to control, damage control around a child's actions or a child's behavior, but doing it in a very emotionally manipulative way. Grandparents don't do that. Just come clean about it. All right, just be direct about it. But yeah, I feel like someone's trying to emotionally manipulate the situation before more damage is done. Like, they're not being super direct and honest about it. They're not. It's almost like, well, if I give this or if I say this, then I then the situation can go this way and then I can have the upper hand. Or then the situation will be like this or this person will do that in response. It's like, it's very emotionally manipulative. Very emotionally manipulative. Losing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 
for the first half of November regarding love. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November regarding love. Ah, and I was waiting for this emperor to come out. I was waiting for that. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy, more control. Three cards of control right here out of six, okay? Nine of wands, um, Sag energy, ooh. Sag energy, the wounded warrior card, the being guarded card. It's also a very uh, driven card here. And again, I was getting that grandparent energy. Emperor is like a patriarch energy. We now have a king and a page, both of the same suit. This could definitely be relating to that, that situation I was picking up on with grandkids and the grandparents being worried about some kind of some behavior about a child and wanting to control the situation and not really wanting to go at it directly with the parent in, in question. Just go at it directly and be honest. But anyway, that's only for some of you. Coming back to this, someone's trying to mano uh, emotionally manipulate the situation. 1221, I looked at the stove, by the way, because there's been damage to a connection. There's been damage to a connection. And it's kind of like, if I do this now, I can get things to go this way, that way, or the other way. But with the Emperor and the Nine of Wands, it's like someone is doing this out of ego. Someone's doing this out of fear because they've already been pretty wounded. Okay. Like I said, damage has been done. Damage has been done, but this emperor seems to have baggage already. Aries, whether this is you or someone else, keep in mind we read energy, not gender here, okay? Yeah. This person has suffered wounds already, which is why they're guarded and they, and they like to emotionally manipulate people and situations so that they don't have to become even more wounded, okay? It's just, it's just running on fear out of ego. Running on fear out of ego. I'm like, you know what? No, I can control this person. I can control the situation. I can salvage this. I can salvage this by just giving off some sweet words or saying this, that, or the other, and then I'll have the upper hand again. Like, that's how this person's thinking. Wow. Okay. Okay. Aries, let's go ahead and get into your reading. Let me get a sip of tea first. Hold on. Mm. Okay. So for anybody who's new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them as you heard me set the intention. Messages can be reversed or vice versa. So please take everything as it resonates. And if it's not your message, it's not your message. And that is okay. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Please don't try to make it fit either. I, I read the comments and a lot of people try to make this stuff fit when it's clearly not for them. So don't try to make it fit. Okay. Um, also, guys, we read energy, not gender. So everyone has masculine and feminine energy. So don't get caught up on the, on the gender of the cards. Okay. Like I said, if it's resonating, you already know who you are in the story. Also, this is for the first half of November, but time is not linear. Neither is energy. So whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're most likely guided to watch it or needing to see it. Okay. Regardless of the timeline attached to the reading itself. Any other questions, curiosities, or confusions about my channel, tarot, myself, a lot of information's below. Okay? All right. Let's do this. Let's do this, Aries. Any messages for Aries regarding love? For the first half of November. Any messages for Aries regarding love? For the first half of November. Oh, interesting. High Priestess Universe just came popping out. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. Someone's keeping something quiet. Someone's keeping something quiet. Mm. I feel like it's motive. I feel like someone's keeping their motives to their to themselves. Oh, why does that feel emotionally manipulative? It does. It really does. Yeah. Whoever's harnessing this energy of the high priestess, someone's keeping hidden motive to themselves, and it feels like it's a strategic move here. Okay? It feels like strategy. Any messages for Aries regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Aries? Oh, geez. Two major arcana right out of the gate. Death in reverse scorpionic energy. Someone does want to resurrect something. Someone definitely wants to resurrect something. Okay. All right. I feel two conflicting energies. I feel someone wants to resurrect something while the other person's really resisting that. <laughs> really, really, really resisting that. Really resisting that. Someone could be coming out of a dark night of the soul kind of energy with the high priestess and the death in reverse. This is a lot of heavy ass, like, how do I say this? Like a esoteric underworld kind of energy. Aries, some of you have, some of you, 
could also be someone you're connecting with, has recently gone through a transformation, like a major transformation. I mean, like to the core, like a lot of things about this person has changed, whether this is you or another person. Again, this is not for everyone what I'm saying right now. Um, major, major transformation, like, like, night to day like total 180 but the reveal of this person like they haven't like come back out in the world all that much yet interesting they could have just gone a makeover but it feels spiritual it's really really spiritual a lot has changed about this person let's keep it going any other messages for aries regarding love for the first half of november Two of Wands, Aries energy. So someone's choosing a new path here. Yeah, someone's choosing a new path and they're ignoring, they're ignoring someone. Hold on. Yeah, someone's choosing a new path and they have their back turned to somebody completely. Someone's really focused on themselves, really focused on what's ahead for them, focused on their own resources too is what I'm getting. Aries, I feel like this is you. Like I said, it can be vice versa. I was kind of feeling that, like I said, Aries, like you guys feel really good. Like you're really just focused on you and you're really feeling yourself and you don't want to give your energy to other people right now. And I feel like that's coming across here as this two of wands energy. You've been presented with an option of a new path and you're taking it. But because of that, you're completely ignoring other people or another person here. Any other messages for Aries regarding love for the first half of November? Someone's spending a lot of time organizing. I don't know why they're telling me this. Someone's spending a lot of time organizing, um, which it's always good for us to organize. It, it's always good for us to do that, to organize and purge things because then we create more energetic space for new opportunities to come in or just more space. And it also actually initiates cathartic release as well. Um, but someone's doing a hell of a lot of organizing. It's bothering someone. I don't know. It's funny. Uh, Six of Pentacles, Taurian energy. And then we have Five of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy here. Yeah, Aries, I really feel like you've been presented with something. You've been presented with something and it feels pretty big. It feels really promising. It feels really promising. I feel a mentor-mentee situation here. Someone who's older than you or someone who's more experienced than you in some kind of field in, in some kind of field that you work in or some aspect in your life has presented you with an opportunity here and you're taking it. It's almost like recouping loss. Recouping loss. Like, for example, Aries, you could have... Um, I'm trying to think of an example here. You could have lost your job, right? You could have lost your job and then, you know, someone comes along and is like, oh, you know, I actually need someone to do this or I need someone to do that and you actually get something better or you recoup exactly the same kind of job but just elsewhere. It's that kind of energy. You lost something, Aries. You lost something and someone who either has more resources than you or someone who's more experienced than you is presenting you with an opportunity to recoup what's been lost to you and you're taking it. You're taking it. Let's see what else comes out here. Any other messages for Aries? Any other messages for Aries regarding love for the first oh, first half of November? Oh my. Any other messages for Aries? Yeah, I really feel like this is for Aries who've like lost something. And like I said, that's why you're feeling so damn good. You've recouped what you've lost. You know that there's a lot of promising things ahead of you and you're feeling so good. It's like, you don't really wanna share that with anyone right now. You just kinda wanna bask in it for the time being. Any messages for Aries? This could have led to your personal transformation, okay? Because this right here, that's a big-ass transformation. Any messages for Aries regarding love? Okay. Then we have Three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy, and Justice in reverse, Libra energy. And injustice is now over. Yeah, Aries, whatever you lost, that whole situation of feeling down and out, that whole situation of feeling like something's been taken from you and you'll never get it back is done. That's over. That's very much over. Now, could this be a lover who's come back and be like, hey, let's do this again? Sure. I don't feel like that's what it is, though. I really don't feel like that's what it is. I really feel like someone's come along and given you a second chance at something, a second chance at a career, or just a second chance from whatever has been taken from you and whatever injustice you had to suffer through. It almost feels a little bit like... um like you were divinely guided to meet this person to help you. It feels like help. It feels like aid. Overall energy, we do have King of Cups in reverse. Dun, 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 dun. Again, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Yeah, I feel emotional manipulation with this. Is this person manipulating you? Hold on. 
it's make okay that's what it is so aries whatever you lost whatever you lost whatever this injustice was that is now over because you have clarity about the whole situation you have someone here who's helping you out and helping you recoup what you've lost for some it could surely be money or just simply be like your nest egg um the person that was responsible for you suffering that loss in the first place is now on your mind because you're putting it behind you. Does that make sense? And if we're in Mercury retrograde, that's typically the energy that we're in with Mercury retrograde. It's reflective. It's reflective of the choices you've made and the choices people have made in regards to you. Things have been said, things have been done, right? So you're thinking about this person. You're thinking about this person simply because you're finally putting away the injustice of it all, okay? So let's break down these energies a little bit with the High Priestess and Death in Reverse. Like I said, for some, there, there could be like a want of a resurrection for some of you here uh, between you and this person who, you know, be between you and this person who emotionally manipulated you, they could secretly want a resurrection with you. I don't think you'll be taking it, <laughs> okay? If that's the case, I definitely don't think you'll be taking it. But I do also feel a major transformation, but it's almost like a secret one. Like, Aries, you could have gone through something really major whatever this loss could have been it could have been you, you lost your partner to death like it could have been something like that because it's something that that basically puts you through a lot of grief something that puts you a lot of grief and really changed you to the core whatever this change is and it's almost like you're on the verge of coming out and showing your new self some of you are already doing that okay so let's go ahead and look at death in reverse and see what's going on there mm, i'll use gilded no Santa Muerte. Santa Muerte for death. That just seems appropriate, right? Tell me about death in reverse. Tell me about death in reverse. Tell me about death in reverse for Aries regarding love. Hey, right, come on. All of a sudden the cards didn't want to shuffle. Tell me about death in reverse for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about death in reverse. This person who's giving you aid, it could have just simply been in the form of advice. That's what they're telling me. It could have simply been in the form of, of advice or money or some kind of support. Either way, this person has allowed has allowed a second chance for you. Tell me about death in reverse. Tell me about death in reverse for Aries. By the way, a lot of Scorpionic energy. I know we're technically still in Scorpio season, but just pointing that out. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, so we have King of Pentacles, Taurian energy, could also be Earth or Air. With the Six of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, a lot of Taurus energy there. And then we have the Emperor in reverse, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy here. I just heard Victorious. Victorious. I feel like you're acting as the King of Pentacles here. Aries, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter. You're acting as the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is someone who now has stability, who has a foundation to stand on, who has resources to stand on. And like I said, you've been given a second chance at that because of this aid, <laughs> whoever whoever this aid is, okay? It could even have been like a charitable organization or something like that. Like, let's say you became homeless. This could be the aid of those facilities that are giving you a second chance, okay? Um, but either way, you're feeling pretty damn good. You're feeling pretty damn good, pretty stable, pretty confident after a time period of not. After a time period of dealing with an emperor who was very controlling. And I just feel very taking, very taking. And again, I feel very manipulative as well. Yeah, I'm just getting taking, 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 taking. This is someone who could have taken your money, could have stolen your money, could have tried to control you over financial means. I just feel someone who's very much about themselves and you suffered a loss because of them. And you're emerging from that victoriously and a changed person, okay? So what else we got from Death in Reverse? Talk about Death in Reverse for Aries. Talk about Death in Reverse for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. Talk about Death in Reverse. It looks okay. Some of you could have been dealing with a greedy boss as well. Someone who was uh, messing with your paychecks or not give or not giving you what you deserved to be paid or like not giving you promotions. Talk about Death in Reverse. Okay, now we have now I have a King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra with the Hierophant in reverse. 
excuse me, Taurian energy. A lot of freaking Taurus energy here. One, two, three, four cards of Taurus energy, okay? Again, could be no other Taurus that could have that in your chart, or you could be a cusper. King of Swords universe with Magician universe, again, totally manipulative energy. So maybe this was a bad business deal, and you lost a lot of money because of it, okay? Most definitely. Some of you, this, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I just got the chills really, 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 really strong through my heart chakra. That did not feel right. Oh, that did not feel right. Um, oh, sorry. Sorry. Um, oh, that's so funny. I said magician. No, it's the Hierophant. I think I did say magician once. Yeah, I just feel total manipulative energy here. Why am I getting criminal? With Hierophant in reverse, this is someone who doesn't follow the rules, someone who goes against in institutions. I actually feel a little bit of criminal on this. Yeah, some of this was just a purely bad business deal. Bad business deal. That's all it is. Like some of you, that's truly what it was. And now it's changed who you are. Because you've dealt with having to deal with the loss of that. Loss of money, loss of your stability. Some of you ended up getting involved with con men or criminals. No, this is not going to be for everybody. That's for damn sure. This is not going to be for everybody. But either way... You're reborn into someone who's stable, okay? Someone who's truly, truly stable here. Overall energy, we do have five of wands in reverse. Leo energy, and then we have the wheel of fortune in reverse underneath that. Jupiter energy, wow. The world in reverse. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Charles, Capricorn. And then we've got the ten of cups, Piscean energy. I love that this is coming after this energy. Because five of wands in reverse, I'm getting letting go of grievances. I'm letting, letting go of grievances. Um, letting go of the battle. Like I said, it changed you. Whatever predicament you found yourself in that led to major loss, you're, you're putting it behind you. You're no longer fighting that fight because you don't have to. It's over. It's over. And you've gotten all clarity and answers you needed to deal with closing out that injustice of whatever it is, right? And Wheel of Fortune universe with the World universe, all of that misfortune is coming to an end. And then after that, you get to have the Ten of Cups. Wherever you're going next, Aries, whatever energy you're putting your putting into, whatever energy you're, mm, whatever path you're putting energy into, it's leading to a Ten of Cups, and you're leaving all of this turmoil behind. And that's beautiful. Okay, that is beautiful. God, yeah, this is so not for everybody. <laughs> it's not gonna be. This is gonna be for like not that many people. Anyway, so two of wands with the six of pentacles and the five of cups. Like I said, there's some kind of aid helping you. Whatever this aid is, whoever this person is, it could just be an institution, doesn't have to be an actual person. You're getting some kind of assistance in getting a second chance at a new path, okay? So let's look at the two of wands and look at that new path. And like I said, you've turned your back on someone. I feel that so strongly. You turned your back on a person or many, many people because you're putting all the energy into yourself and to going wherever it is you're needed, you're, you're guided to go to get to your Ten of Cups, your ultimate happy place, okay? So let's look at this Two of Wands. I use Gilded for this one. One of the Two of Wands. One of the Two of Wands for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. One of the Two of Wands for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. So I'm about two of wands for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. Oh my. Oh my. So we have judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader with the page of cups and the queen of cups. Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. So like I said, whoever you were dealing with could have, was, was emotionally manipulative. And most definitely a soulmate of yours. Soulmates are not always romantic partners. Sometimes they are. But whoever they were, they were a soulmate. But I love this energy because this is you totally loving on yourself. Okay, judgment in reverse is like a rift. You're causing separation here because like I said, you're leaving a person or many people behind and you're choosing you and you're choosing whatever fortune and ten of cups energy is ahead for yourself and you're giving it all to you. You could be telling people this. I don't think you are. But you could actually be communicating this like, hey, I'm out. That path over there that doesn't include you, that, that's what I'm choosing. That's what I'm choosing because I choose myself. I choose to love myself. And I choose to put myself first. Very nice. All right, let's see what else we got here. Talking about two of wands. Talking about two of wands for Aries. Talking about two of wands for Aries. 
Talking about two of wands for Aries. Yeah, this person's not happy about it. Talking about two of wands for Aries. Regarding love for the first half of November. Wow, they're really not happy about it. So now we have four swords, Libra energy. So this is rest, recovery, also isolation, being away. Being away. Aries, you're causing separation here. You have two cards of separation. Two cards of being solo, essentially, here, okay? The four swords is a recovery energy as well, all right? Like I said, you're recouping loss. And there's some aid here or some kind of assistance, whether it's through institutions, a person, or many people, or even just spirit guides, right? But it, it's very tangible. So I, I want to say it's an institution or, or purpose, person or people. Either way, you are recovering. You're still healing. You just went through a major transformative process. Some of you are still going through that as you're going on this new path. You got to put you first and you already know that. However, Someone ain't happy about it, okay? Someone's really not happy about it. We have a Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries energy could also be fire or water. With a King of Cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. With the Five of Wands, they're pissed. All right, Leo energy over here. They're pissed. They're angry. They're jealous. And they and again, this energy of like emotional manipulation. Aries, the Aries I'm, I'm talking to, keep in mind, it can't be vice versa, but the Aries I'm talking to, You've had a history of attracting these kind of emotionally manipulative people, which I think is kind of how you got yourself into that that situation of having someone or something take from you. Like I said, that very taking energy, very, very taking, very, very selfish. And some of you lost a lot of money because of it. You lost a lot of resources because of it. Some of you got involved with con men or criminals, didn't even realize it, or like a scam of some sort. Either way, um, the person that you're dealing with now doesn't want to hear it. They, they almost can't accept it that you're getting presented with a second chance of stability, of healing, of feeling really good about yourself again and just being really happy, even if it's on your own. And it is part of your healing process, no doubt about that. It's part of your healing process. This person doesn't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it. Overall energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. With the two of wands in reverse, Aries energy. They don't want you to go. They might even be actively trying to stop you from going on this path. With the knight of pentacles in reverse, it's almost like putting up a brick wall. Like, where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere. Yes, I am. <laughs> right, Aries? Yes, I am. I am. I am going wherever the hell it is I need to go because I need to be happy. Because I need to be happy. I need to be stable. You've been through a lot of shit. Whoever I'm talking to, you've clearly been through a lot of shit. You've dealt with some bad people. You've dealt with um, losing a lot of your own stability, your own finances as well. And you're done with that. It's changed who you are. It's time for a new path. And you know that. And it is in your best interest. It is in your best interest. And you know that. You, you know that. You know that to your core. This person just cannot deal. This person, all is fire energy. This person just can't deal with that. And they don't want you to go. And you're like, well, that's too bad. <laughs> that's just too bad. And like I said, you're getting aid, some kind of aid or assistance um, to get on the second chance here. So this injustice is over. This injustice is long over here. And I feel like you've gotten all the answers you needed to you needed as well. Um, yeah, let's look at what the injustice is. Let's look at what the injustice is. Um, uh, what deck do I want to use? Actually, let me get some tea. Hmm. Okay. Um, you know, I haven't used steampunk in a long time. Let's do steampunk here. Talking about justice in reverse for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. Talking about justice in reverse for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. Talking about justice in reverse for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. Talking about justice in reverse for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. Page of Cups in reverse. I'm getting dishonesty. 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 So someone was lying. Again, the, emo the, the energy of emotional manipulation. <laughs> the energy of emotional manipulation. Still feeling that there. You're so dumb people trying to manipulate you, Aries. It's not even funny. You're so tired of people trying to emotionally manipulate you or guilt trip you. You're so over that. Tell me about justice in reverse. And that's part of your transformation. I just have to point that out, Aries. That's definitely part of your transformation here. Tell me about justice in reverse. For Aries, regarding love for the first half of November.
talking about justice in reverse for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. I'm talking about justice in reverse for Aries regarding love for the first half of November. Yeah, whoever this emperor is, man, I feel like they took you for a ride. Tell me about justice in reverse. We have the Emperor, Aries energy, Taurus energy, Divine Masculine energy, and then we've got your energy here with the Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, the dishonesty between you and this person. The emotional manipulation this person basically exerted on you, towards you, against you. It's all done. You see it for what it is, and it puts you through the ringer. Like I said, you lost a lot. You lost a lot because of this person, and now you're changed forever because of it, okay? You're changed forever, and now you get, you're getting some aid to give you a second chance and to get you on a new path, to get you to your Ten of Cups, and you have to leave someone behind. You don't have to leave someone behind. This could also represent many energies because we have the Five of Wands here. It could represent a family, a social circle, many people. It doesn't have to be just one, but you have to leave them behind to go on this new path, and they're trying to stop you. They don't want you to go. Again, manipulation, right? No, it's done. Over energy, the devil. Capricorn energy. Oh, and this is beautiful. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy. Yeah, this is you leaving behind that restrictive, manipulative, toxic ass energy from this person or these many people who don't want you to go. Okay? Leaving that shit behind. It's funny I said Capricorn. I was getting Capricorn. You could be dealing with straight up Capricorn here. But given all the manipulative energy I'm feeling, this is acting as manipulation, not just a Capricorn. But anyway leaving this energy behind once and for all for some of this was a karmic lesson in not dealing with emotionally manipulative people anymore they want to stress emotional manipulation more so than anything okay no longer dealing with energies like this because it just leads to trouble and you just end up losing money or support or stability or your freaking sanity either way you're changed forever you're getting aid for a second chance and you're not looking back and these people or person just have to suck it up Okay, they really do. They just have to accept it or suck it up. All right. Now, let's go and get some advice. I actually want to pull soul's journey for you guys. Let's do soul's journey and then we'll get some advice. I feel like it's important for this one because this is like deep. I like seriously, Aries, look at this deep ass transformation you've been through. Oh, okay. Any messages or takeaways for Aries regarding this spread? Any messages or takeaways for Aries regarding this spread? Any messages or takeaways for Aries regarding this spread? <laughs> See here. Oh, peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. All oh, Aries, just let that wash over you. Oh, that big sigh of relief. You no longer have to deal with the fucking loss anymore. You're heading to a Ten of Cups. And it's so funny, all the blue. That's where you're headed, okay? That's where you're headed. And you're releasing and walking away from the devil and this emotional manipulative energies and the cycle and pattern of dealing with these kind of people. Imagination. I embrace, embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. That was really, really hard to say. Basically, Aries, I'm just getting that you, you just got to believe it. You just got to believe it, right? That's also part of manifesting. Um, if you believe you can have this, it will happen, okay? It'll present itself, and clearly it has because you re you're receiving aid to get there. You're receiving assistance, a helping hand, whether that's from an institution, a person, or many people. You're getting a second chance because you basically believe that you deserve it and that you can have it, okay? Now let's see what else we got here. Any other messages or takeaways for Aries regarding this spread? That really wants to come out. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That's like the perfect card. Death. I just have to say it like that. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Like I said, second chance. And you definitely went through a big ass transformative death process here without a doubt. Very spiritual. Like I said, it affected you to the core. A lot of who you are has changed from whenever you first suffered this initial loss here, okay? It's transformation, it's rebirth, and you are getting a second chance here. You already know that. Overall, service. I feel good when I can help others. Like I said, you're getting a helping hand. 
you're getting a second ch chance here because someone or something or many people are helping you out okay it's almost like a service to you in a way is that yeah it's more like a service to you i'm just drawn to the word help just drawn to the word help um for some of you aries whoever's helping you could be someone that's known you for a while that's known you for a while and is just realizing um how much you can benefit from their help okay all right now we'll get some advice oh lost half the deck there any advice for aries regarding this spread any advice for aries regarding this spread any advice for aries regarding this spread Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? 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 Oh, that's a lot. That's too many, Spirit. That's too many. That's too many. Any advice, for, any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Let's see here. Oh, perfect. Cat spirit, claim your independence. 13, breaking down to a four. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. Energy of 33, a master number. And then grasshopper spirit, take a leap of faith. Energy of 30, breaking down to a three. That's my full card in tarot, or the tarot equivalent anyway. You got 33 and three, 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 with the energy of four, which is also, actually 13 is also the death card. It's a death card in tarot, but it's also progression from threes to the four here. Taking that leap of faith towards your second chance, towards your freedom, towards more of your independence away from people. Aries, you're coming into a time where it's just like, I don't want to rely on anybody. I don't want to be controlled by anybody. I don't want to answer to anybody. And I'm just, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Any other advice for Aries? So yeah, I mean, honestly, Aries, don't let these people stop you. I don't think you are anyway, but just don't let them stop you. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Any advice for Aries? Ooh, three more cards came out. Any advice for Aries regarding this spread? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, we're taking a turn, Aries. What? Okay, why does this feel like a different person? This feels like a different person. Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. 60 breaking down to a six. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. 53 breaking down to an eight. And then koala spirit, spirit has a plan. 35 breaking down to an eight. You have 53, 35. Those are mirror numbers here. Uh, koala spirit is my blueprint card. Basically, it's your blueprint is at play in this. But with seahorse spirit and take a deep dive, this is an energy of patience and a lot of emotion, a lot of freaking emotion, patience, patience and digging deep. Aries, I really don't feel like this is you. I feel like this is someone totally different. Someone who's in a waiting energy and someone who has to be patient on something. But someone who also has to take a really big look at themselves, a big reflection on themselves. Okay, yeah, I think it's this person who's mad at you. <laughs> I think it's this person who's mad at you. Uh, to learn patience and understanding and to really look within themselves on why they're so upset about this. And maybe to even understand that, oh, maybe I am emotionally manipulative. You're, you're teaching this person something about themselves and that was just not what they expected, okay? It's not what they expected. This is about looking at themselves. I know, I'm sounding repetitive. It is what it is. Um, and it's part of their blueprint as well. It's part of their blueprint for you to leave on your path away from this person. Wow, overall energy. Ant spirit, time to collaborate, energy of one. And then we have wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom, 67, bring it down to a four. I feel like this is the person giving you aid. I feel like this is the person who's giving you a hand. So we've got the three people here or three energies here. The person or people that you're leaving behind who just have to suck it up and understand why you have to do it and also take a look at themselves as to how they've been behaving with you and why they're clinging on to you so much. It's part of their blueprint and lesson to learn this shit. While you jump into your new path and your second chance, very strong, very aggressive, very confidently standing on your own. And this is the person that's helping you do that. Again, person, persons, or institution. This is someone who's giving you the helping hand that you might even be collaborating with moving ahead into the future here. But it's someone who's taught you something about yourself too. The wolf is a teacher. It's someone who can teach you um, 
lessons or just take what you've been through and turn that into like a like a tool in your toolbox okay put it that way a tool in your toolbox and they're providing you that stability with 67 breaking down to a four here okay stability that you're taking on after dealing with this person and being able to provide for yourself with the energy of one wow beautiful reading aries beautiful i hope you guys enjoyed that <laughs> ah excuse me I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, Vimeo, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Aries. Namaste.